<laughs> Technology. Wait, wait here. Look at that guy. He's down in hey, Florida, Doc. just loving life. All right, let me see your flexion. Let me see you go up. All right, here. I can hold it. I'm gonna flip it around. I'll video it. There you go. Just straight up. Yeah, straight up like this. Okay. You feel that pull, Zach? Yeah. It doesn't hurt. It's just tight. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. Yeah. So really, the next three weeks is just letting things finish healing, but get you starting to move good and feel good. Perfect. So that we can really push it in three weeks from now. Okay. So, any right. questions for Doc while you got him? Got nothing. All right, see we'll see you Friday. See you Friday. Thanks, Doc. That happened uh, when we played the Bruins at home. I think it was like October 30th or something like that. So pretty early in the year. And there was just kind of a small play where I kind of got hit and it wasn't anything crazy. And I knew something was wrong. We sit back into the Blue Jackets end. Zach Wierenski lined him up and he puts a good hip check on it. He tore some structures in his shoulder that made his shoulder a little loose. You know, at that point, it's, do I get the surgery now and miss the rest of the season? Or can I, am I good enough to play? And I couldn't even lift my arm up at Christmas. I couldn't drive my car. When I got in bed at night, I couldn't pull the sheets over me. It sucked. It was, you know, it was a long few months. As soon as we knew our season was over, we're scrambling to get surgery scheduled because uh, this repair uh, is a is a five six month process. That first six weeks is just trying to get the shoulder to heal up, so that then we can proceed with getting his range back, working on his strength, and going forward. So grab a, grab a stool. What I want you to do is I want you to put your hand, palm down. Use the table to try to get good range, okay? Try to wipe across. Keep your elbow straight. Keep your hand out as far as you can. Okay? We're using this hand. I want you to get it up on here. And I want you to walk the wall. You get to that good spot. Put your hand flat and just hold it there. One little walk now. Give me one more little walk. boy. Good. Good it just kind of depends how you feel. You know, I think the, the mental part of it is just not being able to do a lot of things. You know, I'm 20, almost 21 years old. I can't golf. I can't skate yet. I can't really work out. I'm doing legs and biking. All right, let's see where you're at. Yeah! It's going to take time, and it's baby steps. And I, I remember having this conversation with Zach distinctly. You know, rehab just isn't this. It isn't just this nice, smooth line where every day you're better. It's more of a... Of a roller coaster. You still are going to have ups and downs. Oh, that's the worst one. Holy f One sec, I need a minute on that one. I need one minute, let's do that again. The key is, during the highs don't get too high, and during the lows don't get too low. Trying to find the middle ground and trying just to, to stay that even keel, that's, that's rehab. Plus. You know, I think from when I first got out of the swing and barely being able to lift my arm on my own to where I am now, where I can pretty much almost get full range back, you know, it does feel like I'm making progress. Uh, it doesn't hurt me anymore, really, so it's just a battle to get that full range back. But once I get there, I think I feel pretty good. He's young, he's healthy, he's motivated, he's eager to get better. He's, he listens, he communicates, asks questions. I mean, all the things that somebody that's working with these guys, you know, asks for. I started doing some stuff this week that kind of made me feel like an athlete again. And, you know, that's just such a, a rewarding feeling. Uh, just knowing all the hard work the last couple of weeks has paid off. And, you know, we're getting, we're getting back to 100%. And that's the goal. He's gained enough strength that he could start battling and doing some different things in practice. The next step is getting in in that first preseason game. Been a while, you know. Obviously, I've had a long summer, kind of a different summer with my shoulder, but I'm excited to be back and get back in the lineup tomorrow. It'll be a good test for Z. I, I think the the training staff and uh, and the group that have been taking care of him have done a really good job getting him ready. Zach Wierenski, by the way, playing in his first preseason game, major shoulder surgery during the summer has had him out. He's been recuperating. Atkinson finding a trailer. They come back to Atkinson over to Panarin, and he scores. And again, it was Wierenski involved in the play. Those three have come up the ice two times in this game together, and two times the Blue Jackets have scored. Backhand and centering beat. Winds up in the net for the score. It was Wierenski finding Boone Jenner. And for Wierenski, what a pass off the right wing boards. And Zach has been on fire in his return to the lineup here tonight. Going 
the summer, they said five to six months. It's almost five months. I'm a little bit ahead of schedule. I've had no hiccups in the, in the process. So, um, you know, I worked hard and I think it's just paying off now. Whenever guys come back from injuries like the shoulders and the knees, it's always the last thing to get straightened out is the mental part of it. It says, am I, am I okay? Panarin, Panarin, Wierenski scores! Power play goal and Zach's first point of the season. one nothing Columbus. I have no restrictions now and I just feel like my old self and I'm just going out there having fun and playing hockey and that's the best way to do it.